everyone, what's going on? It is Denise Donahue, your mortgage nerd. I am, it is, let's see, the 8th, it's Wednesday, it's July. It's not only hot in Texas, but the real estate market is hot too. Interest rates are hot. So I wanted to give you a quick update. It's been a little while since I've updated you with where rates are. If you are new to this, um, how we monitor interest rates is all based on the bond market. So what you're looking at on here is basically how the bonds are performing. Price of the bonds here, so you can see 104.4, 104.2, 104. That is what the price of the bond is for that given day. And these are the days listed here. So I'm going back until today, which is July 8th. In the past month, we can see that this line goes like, whenever we see the line going up, that's good news for interest rates because as the price of bonds go up, interest rates fall down. As the line goes down, that means that interest rates are going up. So if I expand this out over a three month time period, you'll see that the, the line goes like this. So people ask me all the time, is it true that interest rates change every day? Not only do they change every day, like you see here, but they also change at different times throughout the day. So the reason why these candlesticks are so long is because, for example, this bond opened up at a price of 103.78, and by the end of the day, it closed higher at 104. And so not only do they change every day, but they change throughout the day. Um, the good news is, is that basically since about mid-June, We've seen the line go up like this, and that is a lot of, again, those prices of bonds are going up and the interest rates are coming down. Now, what's driving the price of bonds up? It's all based on supply and demand because as investors and people buy more mortgage bonds because they're uncertain about the stock market or the economy or this coronavirus, they tend to invest in more safer things like bonds. And so when that happens, more and more people are buying bonds that drives the price of bonds up and that's what causes interest rates to go down so great news interest rates look great right next to this video update if you're on my website which is bemortgagenerd.com you'll see the most recent fannie and freddie interest rate report these are the rates that are being charged to the banks um, from fannie and freddie to borrow funds it's not necessarily what gets lent to the consumer but it's what we know the banks are paying to borrow this mortgage money, which of course comes from the mortgage um, investors buying mortgage-backed security. So on my website, I've got all kinds of information, like how we shop the interest rates for you, why the interest rate impacts not only your monthly payment, but the FICO score also impacts your payment, all that good stuff. Check out my website. If you have any questions, you know how to find me, www.themortgagenerd.com. Take care.